Good evening, everyone. The youth football season is just about over, but there is an idea that some say would make the game safer for younger players. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki Gementry looks at the plan to take tackling out of the game. When it comes to football, I tried out and I really loved it. Amherst middle schooler Michael Maldonado can't wait for next season, but his mom Jennifer wasn't always so sure about the idea of tackle football. Michael is special needs. He is autistic. So when he approached me at the end of sixth grade and says, Mom, I want to play football, my hair was like, holy cow, what should I do? And many parents face the same question. Do you allow your young child to play tackle football? That question being discussed at a public hearing downstate Tuesday. Kids need to avoid the risk for as long as possible. Lawmakers invited the public to discuss proposed legislation that would ban children under 12 from participating in tackle football. Those in favor point to the risk of concussions and CTE. The more exposure to hits over a long period of time, the more chance of the brain being damaged especially when it's not developed yet. Season's wrapped up. Are you guys going to be keeping a close watch on everything that's happening in New York City as well as Albany about this? Absolutely. We're, we're actually watching nationwide. Ray Turpin heads the third largest football league in the state, the Niagara Erie Youth Sports Association. 2,000 players across 17 organizations in western New York. Modified tackling starts as early as five. I don't believe that it should be a ban. I believe it should be a parent's choice. He says with all the modernized education and training for both players and and coaches. The game is safer more now than ever. If you wait until later to, to accustom these kids and teaching them the fundamentals of how to tackle, how to block, how to how to use your body properly with the equipment. Jennifer agrees, saying with the right education and safety measures, she's comfortable letting her son play tackle football. Why aren't they letting kids be kids? <laughs> you know, why are they trying to take more away from kids? Now, this isn't the first time legislation like this has been presented here in New York State, and New York also isn't the only one exploring this ban. Several other states, like Massachusetts, similarly propose le legislation like this as well. Now, as for what's next here in the Empire State, that's still up in the air. Live in the studio, Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.